we are going to part 12 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are creating the admin panel and uh, we are working on the updating admin password so in this video we are going to finally updating update the admin password in the last video we have seen that uh, we able to verify the current password is correct or not correct we will uh, type some incorrect password it is showing current password is incorrect if we are typing uh, the correct password then it will show the current password is correct so in this video we will finally uh, save the new password okay so, uh, so uh, we will also compare new password and as well as the confirm password both must be matching so that thing we are going to do right now and but first of all uh, see here we will add like when the admin logged into the admin panel we will welcome the admin okay and also uh, see admin name we are going to add here along with we are going to tell uh, that uh, which admin type it is like sub admin super admin vendor so all these kind of types we are going to do in the future videos okay so we are going to update this header so it is located i'm going to close first of all the earlier files and uh, here i'm going to open the header.blade.php file and this in header.blade.php file uh, we can see this home contact okay so i will remove this home contact and uh, yeah i will add one more here at uh, top here okay and here i'm going to uh, give here the welcome okay here i'm going to add here uh, welcome uh, like welcome and here i will just simply add something like this okay and welcome the uh, guard name auth guard admin uh, the name of that person okay so i will give here the strong okay inside this i am going to give here auth guard admin user and uh, its uh, name uh, okay so that we are going to give here along with that we will also give the type here okay later on we are going to work on its type as well so we will also give here the type as well okay so this thing uh, we can give here and also we need to embed this one as well in this okay so now uh, instead of home we are going to mention here the dashboard and this uh, we are going to redirect it to the admin dashboard okay so i am going to give the dashboard link here admin dashboard like this so we are going to test it right now and see here the welcome admin is coming and here the dashboard is coming once you will click on dashboard you will redirect it back to the dashboard okay so we can update the admin password here and the logout so this is the header and now we are going to update the password uh, so for updating the password we will redirect to the same function here like we will click on submit it will uh, it will go to the that same function see i'm going to check here update password uh, see it, it will go to that same route there update password and we are going to uh, here okay so in admin controller update password okay so here it is so here uh, we are going to update the password here we will add here request dollar request and here uh, yeah if dollar request is method post and here dollar data equal to dollar request all okay so first of all we are going to check if current password is correct once again we are going to check here check if uh, current password is correct and we are going to compare it with the hash function in the same way like we have compared earlier uh, like we have uh, done uh, while verifying the current password here in check cross uh, check current password function okay so the same thing we are going to do here as well so i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste it here and here uh, see we need to check here uh, like uh, we are going to check for the current password that is fine and it must be matching with this one 
and if it is matching then we are going to compare with the other thing but if it is not matching then we will redirect back the user with the error message uh, like uh, uh, we will send the error message uh, uh, something like your current password is incorrect okay so here if in case it does not match return redirect back uh, with error message and here it will come like your current password is incorrect so here uh, see uh, I'm going to type here the current anything I'm going to type I just need to check here see it will verify the current password here in, in submit and see it is taking us back the method is not supported we need to see whether both the methods support uh, this one see update password so we require here both the methods so we will use here the match okay match get post both here get as well as the post okay uh, now it is fine so now uh, I will try once again okay so now like I will type something here in all the fields click on submit and here you, you can see that we are redirecting back to the dashboard page uh, see update password page and here also we need to display the uh, success or error message uh, so that uh, I'm going to check in login blade file where we have already added the uh, error message okay so I'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here in uh, okay so here I'm going to paste now once again I will try okay so let's see see this this one this whiteness is coming due to the extension this extension so don't worry it will not come at your end okay so now i'm going to update all the information and click on submit and see this time this error message is coming your current password is incorrect okay so the correct error message is coming so uh, once the current password is matching uh, the password that is entered by the user is matching with the database password that is located in the uh, pa uh, that uh, admins table uh, then it will go to this condition okay go inside this condition where we are going to check the new password and con confirm password is matching okay so the second condition is check if new password and confirm password are matching are same okay are matching okay so this thing we are going to check here so we are going to compare data new password equal to equal to dollar data confirm password okay so if both are matching then we are going to update the new password in the admin table okay and if it is not uh, matching if both are not equal uh, to each other okay then we will uh, see straight away uh, we'll send message return the message to the user like new password and, it, and then confirm password are not not matching okay new password uh, and we will write like this retype password not match like this okay so now i'm going to see uh, see first i will give the correct current password like one two three four five six okay now i am will just add any new and confirm password any new okay now click on submit and this time see the error message new password and retype password not match so both must be matching to each other okay so now this condition is also fine now finally 
uh, if this condition is fine then we are going to update the new password in admin model okay in admin model we will finally update the password okay so here we will add the condition a comment here update new password so finally we are going to update the new password uh, where id okay we will take the current auth card id auth guard admin user id okay user id okay uh, so here uh, we are going to update uh, update the password so we are going to decrypt the password because we need to convert it to hash okay so decrypt is the function to convert the password to hash that is uh, understandable by the laravel okay laravel only knows the bcrypt password that will get converted into hash so we need to bcrypt it new password we are going to bcrypt and then save in the admin stable okay then we will update it to admin stable and finally we will redact back with this time we are going to redact back with the success message and we will give the message here password has been updated successfully okay here we will give message password has been updated successfully okay so now we are going to try we'll give the correct current password one two three four five six okay and the new password one two three four five six seven and confirm password one two three four five six seven we'll click on submit this time and okay so there is model does not exist so we need to add here the model as well use app models admin okay and also uh, like we have added uh, here i'm going to close this file like the error message we're go also going to add this success message here for the success response here i'm going to modify it to success message okay and here success will come here also success will come okay so now we are going to try uh, see password has been number successful message is coming so now we will try the current password like one two three four five six so it is actually changed so that's why it is coming like current password is incorrect i will add the seven here so it will show the current password is correct okay so now we will change back it to the six okay one two three four five six and we'll click on submit and this time the password will get updated back to the six characters one two three four five six and the success message is coming here password has been updated successfully so it's working fine here and one thing i want to tell you that we are working on the admin auth guard and we, we will get the complete information from auth guard like this this complete information once we have logged in with the auth guard we able to fetch the complete information of the user okay so uh, so this is the way that we can fetch the information of the user like we have added in header uh, okay this one so we can fetch the complete information with this okay uh, like in dashboard function i'm going to show you uh, we can simply uh can test the complete information will come up here uh, the admin who is logged in okay we will get the complete information like this uh, i will simply type it like this and we'll check uh, that what's coming in this one okay so here i'm going to verify like what's coming i will uh, check in dashboard we'll click on dashboard and here you can see the complete information is coming and here you can see the type name type mobile email password everything is coming in this okay so that's why we able to get the complete info and uh, the admin who logged in and able to show in the header okay like this okay we can able to show anything like user after user c4 name we will do like this object name if we want to see type like object type we can just simply do it like this 
okay like this we can able to fetch all the information of the admin who is currently logged in so in the next video we will continue working on our admin panel so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye